thank you Defcon, thank you Defcon, thank you for noticing that uh, <laughs> telling me to. So I just told everybody, welcome to the stream, and today is a special day. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm very special today. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, I didn't have work today, so I'm energetic, but I've been running around from place A to B and you name it. <laughs> I bought some candy, which is a special thing. It's a very special thing for me. I don't usually buy much, but I have a terrible sweet tooth for chocolate. <laughs> I think I've mentioned that before. <laughs> Yeah, last stream, I, I'm sorry, I was so tired for some reason. I slept well the night before last stream and it turned out I was so tired. <laughs> we love the choco choco! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Um, into the actual game. So we're gonna continue Merida's adventures and uh, I did a little gaming outside of outside of streaming. Yeah, I did, but not progress. No. But dress up. And actually it did take a little bit of time, so <laughs> it's probably good I didn't <laughs> probably good I didn't um, bore everybody with it who's not interested. But uh, let me know in the chat whoever is watching this later on. <laughs> and now <laughs> I'm gonna mention it again uh, at some other point that uh, if you guys want to see create a sim we're gonna see a lot of that in the future but for now no so what's about today for Merida is that there's the night on the town which is kind of like a it's uh, the evening be prior to New Year's Eve which is really special so since we were talking in our last stream a little bit about about maybe she should find someone special for Valentine's or Love Day, <laughs> then uh, maybe she's going out tonight. Let's uh, check her work schedule before we unfreeze her. She's starving. Yes, starving, not starving. <laughs> okay, so... One thing that surprised me when I opened this game was that I remember she was standing right here with her outdoor clothing the last time I checked, which was after Creator Sim clothing changes. You can actually see she's wearing one of her one of her new night outfits. <laughs> Cause I was thinking, you know. Maybe she went to the shower, wanted to towel up her hair the way I don't know how to do it. <laughs> don't know. Just don't bother, that's the real thing. <laughs> but anyway, turns out she automatically slept. Turns out she's very hungry and needs to use the bush. So first things first, let's go fertilize that and unfreeze her and maybe we should dress her up. That's all right. You know, it's her house, and... Bunch of cash again! Get your cashew and, and mayor whiskers. Yes! <laughs> yeah, you sneak into that bush. Oh, the game sounds okay for you guys, because for me it seems a little muffled. Hello, Lilac! Yeah, the redesign for the character model Oh, not model. Oh no, did you just make a mess? Oh no. Yeah, let's clean up first. Say hello to Cashew, yes. Uh, yeah, I did that off screen actually. I went on my own a little bit and gave her a little bit of variety in her. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you guys see that? Piccolo. You have magical powers of teleportation. <laughs> For a second there, I thought that I mopped Piccolo out of existence. <laughs> yeah, you go grab some turkey. I'm not gonna stop you. Okay, so what did we have in our inventory? We had uh, feathers. Some plumbing pieces. Yeah, upgrade. Actually, common upgrade parts. Lot of leak. No, that's spinach. It looks like leak. <laughs> <Easy>. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Well, the game sounds fine. <laughs> it's probably just uh, because I did change my setup a little bit. I had two screens. I found a new screen. Did you not take the food? No, you gave it to the cat! Okay, well how about you grab one serving for yourself? What are you doing? Is there- <laughs> oh no, is there a squirrel in my house? Squirrel! <laughs> oh. Yeah, watching TV. No, not even watching TV. Well, watch TV. Watch um, cooking shows. Yes. You like food? You foodie. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are very watery today, so I might have to... I might have to not use eye drops today. <laughs> I'm speaking in circles <laughs> in weird tongues today. <laughs> What I was going to say is that my eyes are watering, so that's kind of a good thing because normally my eyes are super dry and yeah, <laughs> super dry mentioned. And that's a real issue. Ooh, Ulrike wants to hang out. Says tonight, but I have a feeling that tonight means 11.44 a.m. in game time. <laughs> Let's see, if I say okay... It's a nightclub. Blue Velvet. Yeah, so let's say okay. Let's not invite friends this time. Maybe Ulrike invited other friends too, I don't know. Today's stream I don't think will be as long as the previous one. But uh, we'll be on for a couple of hours, I think. Or we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I tried to about the about the super bright weather again. I tried to change change the camera settings a little bit so it's not that bad. That's one of her a little bit more cold weather outfits. Very Christmassy. <laughs> hey, come on, Winterfest passed already, lady. Oh, there's a piano thing. Is that a, is that called in English really? Well, it's a piano for sort. You gain fame from practicing in a public place. All right. Let's go dance a little bit. Yeah, let's go dance together. <laughs> Who's here? Mortimer Goth and Kirsten Villa. And who you be? I'm really bad at tracking them down when they move. Daryl Akers. Sorry, my nose is a mess. Uh, she doesn't look like she's in the mood for dancing though. She's happy. What does she want to do? She wants to admire art. Well, we can fix that immediately. And she wants to start a club gathering. Well, that would be nice since it's a night on the town and everything, so... That might be a very, very nice thing to do, and she wants to call someone on the phone. Let's do that also. Can we call somebody? Oh, so you don't actually have to have to have a real conversation over the phone to get that completed. <laughs> that whim. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, there was a uh, Christmas time. Um, it's called Winterfest in the game. It was uh, on our previous stream Saturday, I think it was. We had a little Winterfest. I think uh, what Merida did did during her Winterfest was. Uh, let's call this guy. He has a funny hat. Uh, yeah, right. Merida went to her friend's house during Winterfest. They didn't appreciate her making food for them. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> and hello, Kessira. 
Lunch pause at work. Ooh! <laughs> what you having for lunch? <laughs> Probably something better and more than I had. I had some leftovers from the fridge. I hope my stomach won't get upset because they tasted a little funny. Could be just the seasoning. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad she didn't really clog the toilet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have bad humor today, but you'll be warned. Oh, what does she now want to do? She wants to buy a wash tub, so wait. She wants to wash laundry by hand. Well, we could actually we could actually consider that. Hey, I know you, Judith Ward. Why is she following us everywhere we go? <laughs> I'll probably never get over that walk. Are you picking a conversation? Oh, I remember this guy. Yeah. Joking. <laughs> he's gotta be joking. I I don't know how to really really say his name. Oh, pasta and tomato sauce with fresh mozzarella. Ooh, that sounds so good. I don't think those are the real lyrics to that song. But yeah, you can sing it. You're wearing a wearing a Christmas sweater and everything. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pull that joke. I'm not gonna say say that joke out loud. You know, <laughs> blowing horns to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm reading the chat a little bit slow today, but uh, it's just kind of uh, I've been very distracted the whole day. It's because I usually don't really go around traveling with public transportation so much. You're getting water. You're at the bar. Have a drink. Come on, you can you can have a drink. You should actually order some food, maybe. Oh, and it's also the goal. Free food and drinks. I told you no. Don't go up there. Bye-bye. <laughs> Last time I think we had a pretzel. It looked kind of kind of uh, interesting at first. Oh, french fries. Mm. Everything's free. I don't like olives. Let's have a... Pita and hummus. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's very dumb. <laughs> Whacking feelings. <laughs> I don't know, should I, should I call him whacking or joking? <laughs> Either way. <laughs> He was blowing his horn <laughs> at the bar. <clears throat> nope, I did not. I did not just make that joke. Did she just? She bought food for everybody. That's so nice. Well, it was free, so that's okay. Is there no music in the bar? I guess somebody turned off the music. Okay. <laughs> so the Judith is watching Dominic Fires sing karaoke at the, at the nightclub, all right, <laughs> during the day. <laughs> that sounds awful, honestly. No, he's not even trying. You can do better than that, Dominic! Hit it! Oh man, my eyes are watering so much today. 
Oh! Turla, I actually know that area. Been there a few times, so I was kind of nearby that area <laughs> today. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's drunk. Oh, sorry, I really need to dry my eyes just a tad. Lucky I don't need paper. It's like I'm crying or something. I'm, I'm so moved by his singing. He sings like an angel. <laughs> oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Kessera. Have a good one. Have a really nice rest of the day at work. Oh, I'm so... I'm so distracted today, but I'm not tired at all. I feel like I've had three cups of coffee way too fast. And I haven't. I <laughs> just slept okay. <laughs> too little, but alright. It was very, very good kind of sleep. So you're making friends now. Oh, hello. This is Bako Jang, and we're talking to Joffrey Landgrab. There's also a steward villa and Jade Rosa. Cool. But here's all the commotion. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm not gonna say where I am except home. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Oh, those guys are having so much fun. <laughs> oh, your stomach is upset. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's turn on the music if we can control the radio. No, we can't. Ow. <laughs> so I'm having way too much fun with this scene. It's awful. <laughs> uh, but Merida needs to go wash her hands or something. What just happened there? Dude, you guys were in the bathroom and he's just passed out on the floor with... Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna pretend I saw nothing. Let's uh, use the toilet. Merida gets to use the toilet so rarely. <laughs> yeah, tea may help actually. But, uh, it depends kind of uh, what kind of tea. Oh, Akira Kib. Oh, right. Yeah, we met, met this guy in the last episode. Last stream. I heard there's a talent showcase going down at the lounge. Let's go embarrass us. All right, let's go embarrass ourselves. This place was dead anyway. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Dominic Fires is going to join us. Actually, uh, uh, being becoming a doctor, it's a uh, doctor is a career. <laughs> it's a silly sentence, but yeah, it's <laughs> you can become a doctor in this game. But I think uh, maybe a real doctor is <laughs> much more trustworthy choice. Talent showcase doesn't really mean that. Uh, Let's go uh, use the bathroom. Was this the lady's side or this? Either way, I'm gonna try both. Oh, she had a disappointing drink. She isn't happy. She wants to have a snowball fight, but there's no snow around here, so we can't do that. She still wants to start the club gathering. And she loves the rain. It's a great time in the rain. Nice happy boost. to admit sims walk really slowly up the stairs well merida walks slowly <laughs> all the time but still yeah that's the lady's side 
Are you telling jokes or something? <laughs> the only downside about um, Sims jokes is that it's very hard to know what they're actually saying. <laughs> you can't guess some things. Let's uh, wash our hands and and uh, brush our teeth for some extra hygiene. Like that, <laughs> she found a piece of art. This is actually a quite a cool looking place, though. Um, I'm kind of scared of heights, so I wouldn't want to be if this was a really tall building or even a few more floors taller. I wouldn't want to go near the windows knowing that there's no support pillars under here. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to people. Well, these guys are busy. The who are you, Gunther Munch? Oh, I didn't even tell her to go talk to him. She went on her own. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's quite interesting actually. Oh, you are reading a book. What kind of book? Was it a good book? Oh, really? I almost said something. <laughs> but then I realized that she's playing <laughs> the violin. I thought it was actually on the radio at first because I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you have frayed nerves from badly played music. Hearing instruments played poorly is distress to the most stoic of us. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> she just keeps going. Well, I bet she gets better as she goes. That's actually a good point. Uh, I bet there are crimes that have been committed with a book or involving a book, but I really don't think a book could have committed a crime. Or actually, I really don't think that a book could be easily seen as a culprit. <laughs> Since they rarely walk around on their own. Wait, what? What experiment? Wait. Yeah, actually, why not? I like I like folklore and Romanian folklore from from what I know, for what I know, is actually very interesting. Oh, I thought she stopped. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to people. Maybe we're gonna, maybe we're gonna meet somebody special. Let's have friendly introduction with these guys. Who are you? Hey, you're Diego Lobo. Aren't you that? Aren't you that special guy from the bathroom with the other guy? Mm? Well, I'll talk to you anyway. Oh, Thorn Bailey is a proper celebrity. That's cool. Everybody's getting tense. I, I, I dare to guest of it's the um, it's that nasty violin oh man i'm suffering here just a little bit <laughs> if she doesn't stop soon i'll have to stop it for her <laughs> it's mostly that um i don't think I don't think there's anything wrong with the way she's playing the violin, but um, 
maybe public place isn't the best place to go begin your practice. <laughs> Are you reading poetry, Brittany Cho? Another. How many celebrities do we have here now? At least two. Another celebrity too. I think I've seen you before. Yeah, B Lister, Octavia Moon. We have three celebrities here at the same time. I bet they're following actually Merida because she's the most interesting person in the world. Yeah, well, let's keep making friends. Uh, it's a share the night on town spirit. Let's talk to this guy also, maybe. Maybe, uh. I think we tried talking to this guy though. Oh, I didn't say hello. Hello. Oh, everybody's just gonna go now? Oh, bye. I guess all of these people were here just for the talent showcase. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Merida is quite hungry, so let's order some food. Let's get her, uh, because they're uh, still free. So let's get their um, bread rolls. Those sound good. Yeah, I think we should totally do that. Or at least uh, talk about it more. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know of your ideas, like, uh, Romanian folklore-based game. Honestly, right now, there's abundance of games popping into my mind that involve Romanian folklore in some way, but I can't really say... <laughs> I can't really say... Which part of Romanian folklore are you talking about? Like the dragons or the vampires part? Or or the less fantastic side? <laughs> By fantastic I mean fantasy rela related. It's a silly pun I use. <laughs> yeah, we should actually do that. We're making a friend out of uh, Mitchell Kalani. I like it how outgoing Mary dies. She's just opening conversations with random people. <laughs> I still have her voice, it's brilliant. Let's talk to these people also. Say uh, a hello and a hello. Let's make friends with everybody pretty much. Oh, Moira Fires. I think we've talked before. Yeah, we have, but you're all at work right now, so I don't think I should bother you. Oh, well, she tra teleported. Poof. I was just about to talk to her, but she's just poof, gone. Alrighty then. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice pants. <laughs> are you twitchy, Mila? You're Mila Montre? Yes, you are. <laughs> She's just walking around with her bread rolls. Like, hey. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Making friends. Did we talk to Caitlin Morgan? No, we didn't talk to Caitlin yet. What does she want to do now? Tell a joke. Let's tell a joke. Let's tell a joke to this guy because he's the furthest out. But we first started talking to him. Well, Mary just started talking to him. Uh, let's take. Tell a joke about the engineers because I'm I'm a kind of an engineer myself. <laughs> no, not yet. I don't have the degree for it. Magic Moira. <laughs> Yay! Hearts. A hog. 
She wants to hug. Does she have any close friends around here who would like to hug? Let's see. Uh, not very friends. N even less friends. You're leaving. We haven't even talked yet. Not with you? No, we've talked with you. Oh, right! Genji Kobayashi was that, um... I think he was that, um... Paparazzi, I think. I kind of like how she looks. That uh, dress is pretty nice. Dong, dong. Somebody started playing. Mila Munch. Oh, you changed your clothes. I was thinking that you look familiar. <laughs> when did you do that? <laughs> Well, it seems our instant. I think she's about as much of a beginner as the person who was playing the violin before. Oh, she's getting tired. She's just she's heading home. Also, what's up with these nightclubs and no music in the radio? Well, there's some live music going on, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah, Rocket! <laughs> it doesn't sound so good just yet, but you get in there, Mila Munch. You get in there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I should have changed her outfit. But now she's heading home. And it's not very cold outside, she doesn't necessarily need to wear a sweater. It's a nice looking place. Where are you going? How far do you go before you disappear? Ha! In the middle of the road. <laughs> Poof! Keep spinning. <laughs> okay, there we go. We are home and we should probably take a shower and then head to bed. Why is the light on all the time here? Let's take a thoughtful shower. Think about what you've done. That, that is so dirty. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out and not look at her shower. Okay, the lemons. And for those guys who don't know what's going on here, I did not do this. I did not do this. I placed them. The lemons on the ground, to a line like this. Just like that. And I told her she should plant them. And she decided to plant them in a star formation around herself. <laughs> that happened, I think, in the first stream. <laughs> She's very interesting. Let's uh, speed it up just a tad. And then tell her to go to sleep because she's really tired. Well, she's been partying at two places. And it's already 4 a.m. and past. New Year's Eve. Uh, I think we still have winter decorations on. Yes, we do. We should probably switch those. Okay, you can speed up again. She wants to drink, dance and play music. Well, last night's party is just gonna continue. She has no hangover. And she loves this tradition. She needs to make a New Year's resolution. Well, that's gonna be interesting. And she wants to stay up past bedtime and shout at the TV in celebration at the uh, countdown to midnight. Let's first uh, take down the old decorations and uh, put up the new ones. Da -da -da -da! Cute stars. What you having for breakfast? Fruit salad. That's actually a really nice breakfast. 
I do like fruit salad. Uh, depending on what fruit it has in it, of course. Should probably clean that up. Piccolo was eating it. <laughs> yeah, maybe she is some sort of a cultist. Would explain the walk. <laughs> well, depends on the cult, exactly. Oh, yeah, I missed your I missed your uh, message, Boggy Bear, about the uh, blood test. Well, congratulations. <laughs> what kind of blood test was that? Uh, by a nurse at the health center or by a vampire? <laughs> Bad job. Or was it? Let's harvest. Let's harvest our spinach and let's harvest our lemons because they are fine. Let's harvest all just in case. Uh, since that's gonna be left alone, let's shut it. What else is there we can do? Use the bathroom. Let's fertilize the bush. <laughs> Oh yeah, you've seen that. You've seen that uh, grumpy cat meme. Something about always giving a hundred percent. Okay, now uh, uh, you stopped. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then, she just stopped there next to the window like Jimmy Navi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are glistening. No, we're not peeking on her. I never know this it actually makes that sound too. Okay, well actually it makes sense. She's fertilizing. Oh. We can evolve the bush. Let's do that. <gasps> Sparkles! Mary does. Hard work has paid off and her spinach plant has increased to nice quality. That is nice indeed. The other one went to nice also. How about the last one? I assume it went to nice. Anything else we can evolve? Nothing else sparkly? No, we don't have other sparkly plants. Hello, kitties! Yeah, yeah, also nice quality. Oh, Lovely cashew is here. <laughs> Apparently, Merida really likes to. Likes likes her cats and specifically she seems to be interested in petting cashew all the time. It's pockets again. Haven't seen pockets in a while. No, you guys won't fight. Piccolo won't pick a fight with you. Uh, rude introduction. Am I really gonna let her do that? Well, I kind of want to see how it plays out. Well, ha! She got rejected before she got to do her rude introduction. <laughs> Hello, water drop, and welcome to the stream. What are you doing? Praise. <laughs> okay, she wants to praise the cat. Let's play with the cat a little bit because Cashew seems to have a lot of energy and let's uh, also play with Piccolo and let's also say hello to Pockets. Did I click friendly or... Yeah, I clicked friendly. I was kind of thinking between cautious and friendly introduction. Shippy shippy. Shippy shippy. <laughs> I do wonder as a as a cat owner, how would the cat be entertained so easily? Not not Minnie, no, not our cat. <laughs> okay, good luck with your call. Don't be lying. Mm. <laughs> Let's speed it up just a bit because we're playing a lot with cats. Oh, 
we became friends. We became friends with Cashew. Oh, no koi. Dumbila. Dumbila. You speed it up just a little bit, and her voice gets really deep. That's it normally. And you speed it up a bit. Oh, no koi. Pockets, what are you doing? Dumbila. Dumbila. Pockets. Oh, arrived climber. <laughs> oh man. Rosper. Oh, uh, Dumbila. Oh. Oh. Dreffen Abo. Oh, that didn't go so well. That didn't go well at all. How about I try to give you a treat? Your tail said nice. Yeah, treats are okay. Was that cheese? Or a freeze cracker or something? Oh, we need to clean clean the litter box again. <laughs> Maybe Mary does should adopt an actual pet. Well, the stray cats are also actual pets, but you know, she doesn't have the ownership over them. They're just her friends from the outside. Maybe we should water the plants. No. Um, what's going on over there? What could be making that sound? In my bathroom? Oh, Mary does bathroom. You got so filthy! You even got fleas and stuff or flies. Oh. Well, uh, let's start working on our daily goals. We're feeling playful and uncomfortable from skunky scent. Yeah, I think there was a skunk in my bathroom. <laughs> okay. Feeling good from high needs. I wonder. Central heating. It's very nice. Okay, so uh, let's change our clothes. I actually haven't showed you guys. No, not nude. I haven't shown you guys all the outfits. I could actually give you a little tour. So I made a pink version of her everyday outfit. Because I do like pink. It's a nice color as any. And I also gave her a really cool pants outfit. With a hat, of course. The iconic hat. And her iconic monocle. It didn't change much. And uh, for party dresses, I think this was the original one, but I'll show it anyway. These are like for uh, high class parties, formal situations. I also made this kind of purple version. I thought this, uh, this cut design for the dress would be pretty nice because she has a kind of a... She has some edge to her personality. That goofy smile though! Be gross. You can, you can actually be gross. Flaunt wealth. Wait, what does this even do? Money phone. <laughs> she had a payday, so she should totally do this. <laughs> In that dress too. Okay, let's also check uh, this uh, another high class formal dress. This is pretty nice. I think this blue goes well with her with her tattoo and her hair color. I like the contrast. Why are you smiling so big? Uh, this is her regular, um, you know, gym outfit, I suppose. Workout outfit. And uh, I made another one. The second one's here. A little bit more simple. Where am I going? A little bit more simple and, uh, you know, simple. <laughs> Looks comfortable for sure. And that's the the night outfits. You guys already saw those uh, for more, more uh, 
fun party, so I decided to go crazy with the makeup. And gave her a little hair dye. Pink shoes, just for the contrast. <laughs> it's pretty nice. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure about the makeup, but I was thinking that maybe it fits her personality. Yeah, we could actually wear that. Then, uh, since this winter fest, I decided maybe a festive outfit. <laughs> I was having so much fun when I was choosing this. <laughs> I, I really adore those little uh, curls on her hair with this hat. All right, so you're washing your gloves. <laughs> Let's show the other ones also. Yeah, we could actually wear it wear it for the rest of the day, but I'll show I'll also show the other ones. I'll switch back to the festive dress since it's New Year's Eve. This black and white one, I specifically like this one. Uh go here. I like this one a lot some for some reason. Lure. It's just it's just black and white, but it's so stylish. It's pretty nice. This is another party dress for her. Okay, but let's uh, move on. Uh, I gave her another bikini set. Wow, yay. <laughs> it's just green, that's all. And the hat is very cute. This one we have seen in another summer dress. I thought this would go nicely for a nice uh, city visit, for example. Looks pretty cool. I had a hard time finding fitting shoes for it, though. Then we saw already the winter outfit, so let's switch to the festive outfit. Yeah! <laughs> it's a very Christmassy hat, but we'll keep it. Yes, and let's get out there and go visit a club or something because uh, it's the New Year's. It's all, 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 all sorry, it's almost evening time already. So let's travel. Let's invite some friends along. Let's see. Uh, we don't really know you that well, but let's invite you. Uh, we don't know you guys very well. We know you, you invited us, so we're gonna invite you. Hey, that's that's uh, Father Winter or whatever. <laughs> Pretty cool that we're friends. So yeah, whacking. <laughs> or joking, <laughs> which one? Oh, and uh... See, uh, we seem to be almost friends with Dawn and Mila, Morgan, Stefan, Dominic. Well, we can't invite anymore, so we're gonna go with these guys. Everybody else can just show up if they get also invited by other friends. Now let's find ourselves some some really cool... I bonked my, <laughs> I bonked my mug into my other screen. <laughs> Even though I was looking at it. The normal arms. It's a nightclub, but it's a kind of a daytime. I think a lounge or a bar at this hour. There's the Shrieking Llama. That sounds pretty cute. Old Quarter Inn. That's nice. Oh, there actually is a library. We're not going there now, but I was saying that it would be nice if there was a library. There actually is one. Oh! The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's check out the other other worlds. Where haven't we been yet? There's not really anything here yet. Uh, I know that because I've had the expansion for quite some time. Um, this has an LA LA vibe to it. Let's check it out. I think if I recall right, you had had to be a little bit of a celebrity to be able to enter these. Yeah, yeah, I remember something like that. Is there a nice place in the city? A karaoke bar, yes! It's Planet Hon Honey Pop and then there's a... Uh, Waterside Warble. Party place sounds pretty good. 
but this one's bigger. Jogging to park would be nice, but uh, we're gonna have to go jogging also because she wants to. She needs to face her face her exercise needs. <laughs> Let's hit the karaoke bar first. We haven't been to- I don't think we've been to a karaoke bar yet. In our streams. Did we? I think we've been to several lounges. Maybe there's somebody who can actually sing over there. Mary Dot doesn't know how to sing. I don't think she even has acquired the skill or... Or then it's very low. We haven't been really practicing that. Or any other any other musical skills for her. Except dancing. She knows how to dance. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. There's this one big karaoke stand. Or how do you call it? Two bathrooms. The laundry place. I'll leave the door oh, doors. <laughs> I left the walls for you guys. This looks pretty cool. Romance festival. This is a romance festival? Well, we just arrived here. We can't be all over the place. Let's drop the wall so we can see what's going on inside. Yeah, let's let's grab a drink. Wait, what? Can I not? Let's uh, go here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And somebody's actually at it. <laughs> Who are you, you mystery singer? Miko Ojo, a young adult. Cool. Well, this place is much more awake than the other places we've been. <laughs> yeah, I'll actually, I'll actually see. Let's see how how Mary does sings. Her skill level is zero or one. We can check that if you guys are interested. One. She actually did sing something. I think. Yeah. Right. Right. Jingle bells or something like that. Well, that ended suddenly. Let's go sing something. Let's sing a, let's sing a solo and a, 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 one, two, three, da, 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 da. let's sing. Oh, I like jazz. Classic beauty. She's gonna gain a bit of fame out of this. I don't care. <laughs> she should be famous. She should be famous. Everybody should know her walk. Everybody should know her face. And her voice, too. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> she has quite deep voice. Just a little bit like Louis Armstrong, yes. I like her attitude though. <laughs> Let's try another one. Let's try a, a pop song. Oh, well, you're obviously singing, but the song already had it. Full fun tonight. Full tonight. I read both of them. Yeah. She wants to watch karaoke performance. Mistakes were made. I just can't. 
she's getting a skill level now. Lovely finish. Love that finish. <laughs> oh, that was pretty interesting. Uh, are these broken or just a use or use and question mark? Uh, use and question mark? Yeah, let's do one more song. She does need to visit the visit the ladies' room. I hope I chose the ladies' room. Well, I don't know. I don't think it should matter really. Both of them look very clean, so it doesn't matter <laughs> whoever uses them. In my opinion, if I record, you just flushed it. Would you use and question mark? So you are. You kind of need it soon. She's been eating a lot of snacks these past couple of days. It's really proper food. Let's have some more snacks. Let's uh, grab some chips for a change. Well, let's choose. We didn't do the. Uh... Oh, we unlocked rock and roll music. Cool. Well, let's. Uh, we didn't try any of the house generate songs. It's, uh, for your love, I like that. <laughs> that party party horn sounded a little bit like a derpy wolf howl. <laughs> All right, we didn't make New Year's resolution yet. Are you having some minor lag in the game, or seeing? I saw some. It's uh not in the outfits. Should be somewhere here. Make a resolution. Yes. Now you guys can help me decide. Uh, we cannot lose weight because uh, it's just uh, not unlocked for us and also get more social media followers. We don't really have a social media career, so we can't do this. But what we can do is we can try to complete an aspiration milestone. We can try to get a significant otter. And yes, I said otter. We can try to get promoted. We can try to raise a skill, which should be pretty easy. That's probably the easiest out of these uh, at this point. Because we have a lot of skills at level 1 or less. Or more like 3 or less by now. Uh, we could try to write a book in 7 days. Or get fit. And yes, yes. Uh, I don't know what get fit in 7 days exactly means. Does that mean... Uh, Raising your fitness level from all the way to as high as it can go. Or getting just another level or a few levels in fitness scale, I'm not sure. Or maybe just, you know, I, I don't exactly know how that works, but it would fit the character. So, out of these, what do you think? What do you think we should choose? Aspiration milestone, significant other, promotion, skill raise, writing our own book or getting fit. We would have seven days time to finish the aspiration. So there's one vote on the book, writing a book in seven days. Yeah, I think actually that might be a fun thing to do. Again, it's starting to get really bright in here, so <laughs> Cam will be all <laughs> but uh any other choices any other ideas we're going with the book yeah she does have the computer for writing the book so that's gonna be that's gonna be quite quite possible to do all we need is time to write it and maybe some idea of course then we're gonna have to choose genres and stuff yeah, let's write the book. That's gonna be interesting. I can't imagine myself writing a book in a week. <laughs> or even, even seven years. Takes a lot of work and a good idea. 
We should drink, dance and play music. Party spirit lives in us all. We should watch the countdown to midnight. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, it begins on the television at 11 p.m. <laughs> she's just she just went there sat down with all these people with Ulrike and uh, Paolo and uh, Siobhan I just went there like yeah <laughs> to fame so, so. oh well now she's focused let's uh, pause for a moment while I read sims now have the ability to become celebrities there are many different ways to become a celebrity as and as your sims progress in their skills and careers more paths to stardom will be available okay some great ways to become famous include pursuing a career in acting or raising the media production skill via the video station or music station objects. Look for interactions labeled with star and fame. Each of these will contribute towards becoming a superstar. Well, uh, I'm not sure if Merida is going to become a superstar this week, but maybe <laughs> if she keeps singing in the public, maybe. Yeah, we could, we could, uh, we could make a life like that for Merida as well. <laughs> Let's uh, make this happen. Oh, by the way, we could check how long does she she actually have before she ages up. Eighteen days, and then she will become an adult instead of just a young adult. So. She's aging soon. Well, 18 days will take some time. Hey, what did you just buy? Wait for a drink. Oh, well, you're at the, at the karaoke bar. You should drink. Oh! That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. There better not be any glass shards in my drink. <laughs> Yeah, this are uh, two ways in Sims to get a boyfriend for a girl or a girlfriend. Uh, hey, maybe one of them just showed up. Gavin Richards. <laughs> Let's go say hi. <laughs> there are a couple of ways. One way is the uh, is the play your way in, so to say. Um, so uh, you. You go out there and meet people, and you introduce yourself to new people. You say, uh, uh, get to know, for example. <laughs> oh, they don't like each other. You know, Mariko, Ikeda, and, uh, and Merida. Oh, Gavin is a bro. Okay. Let's uh, throw some confetti. <laughs> <laughs> because in Sims, confetti isn't bad for the environment. <laughs> it disappears. Yay! We actually did enough party spirit actions. Oh, she's so tired. 
Who shot Kapoor? We didn't check the TV on time though, it's already past midnight. <laughs> So we didn't see the uh, countdown to midnight. Let's enthuse about fruitcake. <laughs> Spite drink, I hope not. Well, let's say if the bartender actually did did uh, break glass into the drink, then <laughs> you could call it a sharp drink. But... So apparently Dominic Fires really likes to sing. <laughs> Here he is again. <laughs> oh, she's so tired. I'll send her home. Before she falls asleep on the on the ground. Oh, there was a romance festival right outside. Well, she's too tired for that. Uh, oh, somebody needs to use the bathroom. Hello, Morgan Fires. No, <laughs> sorry, I'm making fun of you. <laughs> I have to visit this festival uh, next time it's on town. In town, not on town. Well, it's kind of on it also. <laughs> oh, she's so tired. <laughs> now she needs to get some good night's sleep. This room is getting brighter and brighter. <laughs> I do need to uh, get myself uh, either proper curtains or something, so this whole overlighting won't be an issue anymore. <laughs> well, it's not exactly an issue, I suppose, but I'm not entirely sure if it's nice to have a completely way too overlit webcam picture at the corner of the stream. <laughs> well, New Year's Eve was successful. New Year's Eve was awesome, actually. Mary Jo had a wonderful time and got to do... what? Everything she planned to do. Well, yeah, that's good to know. Well, that was sudden. Shall we go to work or work from home? If we go to work, we make more money. Let's go to work. Yeah, it is a little bit disturbing. I do agree. There's not really much at the moment I can do about it. Yeah, you can sleep just a moment, but you really have to go to work now. Yeah. She's gonna have lunch, lunch for free at work, so... She doesn't have to worry about being hungry. Well, she will not get anywhere on time with this walk. <laughs> you know, with this gardener's outfit, she looks kind of creepy like this. But mostly just funny. <laughs> okay. Gross overproduction. Wait, what? The greenhouse nursery at Mary Dust's job is a little too nurturing. The new sprouts have quickly grown out of control and taken over the place. Or space, in this case. How does she handle these rampant plants? Hack them back into submission or toss more fertilizer onto the forest? Um. Hmm. Well... This is a kind of a kind of a tough tough choice in a way because uh, I kind of don't think that Merida would like to hack the plants, but then again she did kick a garden gnome before, so maybe she, maybe she's gonna 
chop them and also if they are growing way too crazily they're just taking energy from every every other plant around them so everybody's just gonna end up being tired everybody <laughs> all the plants <laughs> so i think um Well, hacking them down sounds a little harsh, but way more fertilizer sounds bad, like a bad idea too. Because then they're gonna grow really big. That's it. Yeah, I agree with Lyle. Like, let's uh, let's hack them and see what happens. Mary Jo began hacking back the overgrowth with zeal, but maybe too much of it. Oh. Well. That's not good. She hacked so far down into the overgrowth that she damaged many of the plants beyond repair. Oh, that's too bad. The nursery may have been overgrown, but Merida caused it to die. Oh no! Her boss decided to make Merida clear out and replant the entire nursery's punishment. Well, that's a proper punishment in that case, but still, ouch! It's not aligned. Oh. Yeah, it's uh... I guess there's a little frames to the side. Yeah, I gotta fix that for the next one because uh... Because uh, the thing is that my screen zoomed in. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what to do about that right now. I don't know what to do about that right now, but, uh... Yeah, I'll just, uh... I'll see what I can do. Just a moment. I'll be right back. Yeah, I think I think that should be better now. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that uh because uh when I alt tab away from Sims it only gets a black screen. I think you guys saw that too. So it was kind of a <laughs> kind of a wild shot. <laughs> but I managed to fix it. Yay, this is so much better. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't notice that on my own. Well, let's continue the game now. Let's let's give some food for the cats. They're all surrounding this cop. They're still not my cats and Merida's cats, but you know. They're her favorite favorite visitors. Let's uh see what we have in the fridge. We have some uh Fruit salad that goes bad in about three days. We have. Uh, it's gonna go bad before the tofu key. So let's eat the fruit salad today. Yeah. It's also because I, I kind of uh, changed the resolution and the, I switched the sc screens around, so that might have actually messed it up. Or then it was always messed up, and I, I just oh, didn't pay enough attention. Now it's uh, uh. now it's bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Because I did uh, go... When I started streaming the first episode, I did realign it properly and... I mean, align it properly for the first stream, but I'm not sure. I, I don't... Right now, I don't recall if I ever ever uh, checked it before, but yeah, now it's good. At least from now on, it's good. <laughs> you guys can actually actually see everything that's going on down here. That's nice music, actually. Are you gonna do the dishes now? That's good. Maybe we should uh, be nice since it's a new new year. New year, new Mary Dawn. We should. We should probably get her a dishwasher at some point. Or the laundry machine that you guys wanted at the beginning. Ooh, ice cream. I'd like some ice cream too. Bring me some! <laughs> Let's write the book. Since we had that. Um... We can only write the children's book. So let's do that. Let's write the children's book, since it's the only thing we can write right now. We don't really have any skill in writing. Oh, you cats are very... Well, there's another pile of feathers over there. Okay, we get to name the book and write a little description for it. Pat the Badger. It's a children's book. Let's name it completely ourselves. I can't really... Select all of it, I tried. Ooh. Sorbet thingy. Like, ma mango and vanilla sounds really good. Strawberry and vanilla. Ooh. I should really try those. I don't think... Uh... Yeah, it's been a very long time since the last time I tried a sorbet. <laughs> and it's a long time since the last time I had proper ice cream. Proper ice cream. How shall we name our children's book? Children's book. Hmm. Well, I'm very inspired by the fact that this room is getting very, very bright. I'm gonna need sunglasses indoors. <laughs> so, sun... Sunshine... No, I think it's a one word. Sunshine... Um... Uh, shimmer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and it's a... Uh, 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 a small... Children's story about uh, a happy little ray of sun. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. That's our first book. Sunshine Shimmer. Sounds like a song, more like book. <laughs> oh yeah, I could have made it about bunnies since Easter is behind the corner or a few corners. Oh, and I saw so many small bunnies outside uh, just uh, a few days ago. Let's clean the litter box when we're done writing. I think we're gonna speed this up a lot because she's gonna take a long time writing. <laughs> Her voice goes so... Oh yeah! <laughs> About bad vision. That That's gonna be her next creation. Yeah, she's not just gonna write a book in seven days, she's gonna write it in one day. Don Lothario is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. I didn't know we're that good friends, sir. Uh, we're in the middle of writing? But I think, uh... Yeah, let's go. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> 
Yeah, what could go wrong? This guy we don't really know all that well. Or then I have just forgotten that we Merida became friends with him at some point. I may have forgotten about that. Let's see. <laughs> but to me, he seems like a stranger. Oh, a handsome stranger. Well, let's say hello. Uh, brighten his day. We should probably change our clothes. That's not really visiting clothes. Uh, outfits, change outfit. Oh, what shall we choose? It's a nice sunny day, not the warmest. Let's pick that one. <laughs> At least they're having fun. And they're almost friends, actually. Oh, improved charisma level. Oh, well, she's really tired and kind of lacking hygiene. Would be nice to know what they're talking about. So, still something about bears. What kind of house does he actually have? Well, decorated house. <laughs> okay. It's an interesting, interesting looking house. I like this little yard here with a fence and everything. These palm trees. Oh, this gardening blocks. And who are you? Dina Caliente, a friend, I suppose. Hey, if you had another girl over, is this really your house? Are you sure this is your house? Yeah, that seems a bit suspicious. Is this even his home? <laughs> well, what does she want to do? She's happy about her deep connection. Happy about a delicious dish. And happy about the pleasant conversation she just had. And she wants to go for a jog. She wants to become flirty. That can be arranged, I suppose. And she wants to make a friend. Well, that's easy. Let's just uh, talk with Don a little bit more. Let's uh, discuss fitness techniques. You were just working out. He's probably into into fitness. With those those arms, he's definitely into fitness. Did you just take the book off the bookshelf and leave it on the floor? There you go. That's not really the way to treat your friends. <laughs> Yeah, let's go flurry. <laughs> no, I misclicked. Um, let's uh, uh, get to know this guy. We don't want to flirt with just anybody. Or do we? <laughs> oh, he's romantic. Well, that's very sweet. Let's see. Uh, uh, do you like art? Hey! Uh, I'm pretty sure I just click that. Get back here! Let's ask about his career. And let's say hello to Dina Caliente. I hope they're not dating or something. <laughs> At least they are walking through each other, okay? They seem very connected. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. He has a punching bag over here on the little balcony. That's pretty cool. Ah, this room is getting so bright. I'm gonna fix fix it this week. The issue with the light. I'm I'm gonna come up with some sort of proper solution to kind of. Uh, Block the over brightness so that the sun doesn't shine directly to the camera so much. Curtains don't help, I tried that. Are well, they having a nice conversation together? Let's ask about her. Oh, let's tell a funny story actually and then ask about uh, what does she really like to do? Let's get to know Dina a little bit. Where are you going? Just left us girls here talking? Okay, that's fine. You just go on your business. <laughs> go about your business then. Let's uh, talk about art because because Merida really likes her art. She's so tired though. 
I'll use their bathroom and then I'm gonna... Oh! Dina is ambitious, that's good to know. <laughs> Merida's voice is so priceless. The way she she walks. Now she's walking normal, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, let's not do too much about her. Katrina Caliente, did I read right? This is a Caliente residence. What is Don Lothario doing in the Caliente residence? Do they live together? Mysterious, very mysterious. He said this is his home. Unless he meant the piece of streets his home. Yeah, Merida, you're gonna have to go home now. Is another person? Who are you? Nina Caliente. This is definitely gotta be a Caliente residence. There's one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms upstairs. This fourth one over here. So yeah, yeah, sure. If uh, if Dawn is living with the Caliente sisters or family, are they sisters? They all look so young. Young adult, young adult, adult. Yeah, I think they're sisters. Where did Merida go? Boink. All the way there. Oh, she's so tired. Oh, but you're gonna get some sleep very soon. You're gonna not feel so tired soon. Didn't get to flirt with anybody now. <laughs> You gotta get to know your friends before they get to know you. <laughs> Alright, let's get some sleep for Merida, she really needs it. And let's turn off the radio. Every time she enters the house, she's just like, ah. I like my home. Kind of like me, except I go I go all over the floor because Minnie, Minnie, our cat, Minnie the cat, just walks to the door whenever she hears the mail or or just anything from the door. She just goes with her tail up. Meow. She goes to the door. <laughs> she didn't used to be like that. She used to hide every time she heard something, something from anywhere near. That could be considered outside the apartment. She used to be like that about a year ago, and you know, around half a year ago, or or a bit more than that, it took her a few months to to actually get accustomed to the place, and then she turned into this this very confident cat. It turns out, I'm very proud of all the progress she's made. Oh, let's go sing in the shower. We're gonna listen to her, but we're not gonna look at her. Oh, you can't see her. Ooh. Oh, let's also harvest our lemon trees and our mushrooms. And what are you? Green peas. Well, you're not really. You're not really good for harvesting just yet. Fall and spring for the mushrooms. And the lemon trees are also in season. And since it's spring, so is the green pea. How about the spinach? Oh, the spinach is all only in season during winter, so they're gonna be looking like an empty plot for a long time. Let's go harvest those. And since we can, let's do some gardening work. Okay, water drop. See you later. Bye. And let's fertilize. We have a lot of lemons, so let's use that. I don't know if that's gonna be any good for fertilizing, but... If I recall right, there was an issue if you queued fertilizers for one... For fertilization action, something like that, for... 
more than one of the same kind right after each other then it's kind of not gonna do it so it's gonna fertilize the first one with the lemon and not the second one with the lemon so that's why I chose a different fertilizer for all of them what were you even trying to harvest <laughs> yay these plants are gonna be so happy Are you happy? You look quite serious. Something about motorcycles. <laughs> Let's go have some breakfast. I had fruit salad yesterday, so let's go have some tofurkey. Since we're still eating. Mary Jo is still eating leftovers from uh, Winterfest. Again, she enters the house. Nice house! <laughs> Let's toss that old plate full. That's awful. Let's watch some TV while, while they're eating some... Uh... Well, she started watching something. What's on the culture network? Oh, she wants to buy a punching bag. She wants to start a club gathering. She wants to make a group meal. Well, maybe we should cook something and and also start a club gathering. She's been wanting to go 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 to go hang out with her mischievous club club mates. I can't talk. <laughs> Don't mind me babbling. <laughs> Yeah, let's queue up some cooking. She wanted to cook a group meal, so... It goes from cooking and choosing a family or party size. Yeah, let's see. We made that one salad once. With the earwax in it, it wasn't very nasty. We've been having fruit salad for a while now. Winter cake sounds good, but that's not actual food. <laughs> Tofu tacos, they sound pretty good. Pancakes. Let's make pancakes. Let's make a family size because a party size is a bit too big. She needs a new... No, I don't... I'm not sure if she needs a new job. Uh, she will get... She will actually get promoted. If we raise her gardening skill to level 4 from 3. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Let's speed it up a little bit. She eats so slowly. In game time she's been eating for about 2 hours. If I looked at the time correctly. That's a lot of time spent on one plateful. <laughs> and also uh, do clean up after yourself. Just saying. Ah, she's gonna sneak like that to the fridge. I will make a group meal. Yes, a group meal. <laughs> Please don't put earwax in it this time, okay? You gotta promise me you won't. Some oil or something? Ooh, thinking about dishes. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Auto bin. Oh, you mean the? Do you mean the trash bin or? <laughs> that looks uh like olive oil. <laughs> Ooh, mail. We have forty-eight hours to pay our bill of four hundred and eighty-eight simoleons. 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 <laughs> Simoleons. Let's uh, put that away. Not to the trash, but to the fridge. Let's clean up some dishes. I could, of course, just grab that 
and put it in the trash and make some cash with it, but I think she should be washing her. I just told you to wash the dishes. <laughs> okay, I'll just do that then, I guess. We got 10 silver about it. Off it. Not about it, man. Oh, she wants to make a call. But I know how that works. That's way too easy. She wants to start the club gathering. Let's uh, fertilize this bush a little bit then. Say hi to the cats. Hello, Piccolo. It's a, a pet. And uh, it's a, a pet also uh, charms. Our cat friends. Hello, are you pockets again? Yes, you're pockets. You don't like me much now, do you? You're gonna fight with somebody. You're fighting. You're in the mood for fight in my house. This is such a strange thing. Pockets, are you mean? Hey, Chops, do you want to say hi? You want to say hello, Chops? You just got beaten. Yeah, you're sad. It's a... It's a... Uh, let's play with you, yeah. I get so sad when they fight. <laughs> Even though they don't really get hurt or anything, still. There's Piccolo just sleeping on the couch. Or resting, more like. <laughs> how cute. I like how Piccolo is still striped like a raccoon tail. It's very cute. I think that uh, he's a tabby cat, so... I assume it's a he. <laughs> on the name. Well, you seem to be full of energy today, Pockets, running through counters and everything. <laughs> oh, it's springtime. You can see actually the time of the year down here, uh, nearby the... You can actually now, I think you can now see, since I don't know how long that, that game was zoomed in. Yeah, you can see the time of the year. We have springtime. And next we're coming on uh, summertime and fall time, obviously, but I think one season lasts about a week. Yeah, it says it. It's day two out of seven, so seven days of spring. What are you doing in that bush? Playing with a skunk again? <laughs> oh, that's priceless. Let's finish writing that book we were working on. Resume writing Sunshine Shiver. But uh, first, you should probably change out of that outside outfit. Change to an inside outfit. Let's go for the... Let's go for our uh, pink version. Let's write that book! We're gonna meet that resolution. Yeah, and let's speed it up a lot, because <laughs> otherwise it takes a long time. I'm so happy that the cats can... Why is there a glass up there? Can my character even clean that up? Who put that there? Some really tall person, I suppose. Ricardo Banner. This broke again. Well, we repaired it successfully last time, so let's do that also. Oh man! Fainting little cat Bell, I haven't seen you in ages. Let's also fix that. Oh, I feel so bad again that I can't take these cats to the vet because Merida doesn't own the cats. All strays that just hang out in her house. Oh, do you want attention? Horchata! Hey, I haven't seen Horchata in a while either. <laughs> the funny face. <laughs> just 
flopped. What an achievement! Mary Del finished writing an entire book. It's in her inventory for future reading. She can't really access this glass and I can't move it either. I think I have to remove it in build mode. I'll, uh, I'll do just that. She finished her resolution, so that's pretty good. Now let's uh, get rid of that glass. There we go. Actually, she's starting to have so much... So much money, which uh, reminds me she needs to pay the bills. You should really turn off the electricity before you start fixing electrical things. Let's finish that quickly. Okay, success. Don Lothari is asking us to go to his house again. Why not? We can pay the bills after we get back. <laughs> oh, I didn't check her needs before I click OK. Yeah, let's put on the nice blue dress. A fancy one. And she's wearing a winter outfit and it's actually quite warm where she went to. Now we're talking. It's kind of like she's dressed for a date and he's like, Hello, welcome to my house. I live with the Caliente sisters. <laughs> she's like, yeah. I'm coming over for those muscles. <laughs> I don't know. Non-committal. Well, that's... That's not very good. Non-committal sounds like a, he can't really stick to things. What do we really know about this guy? Well, we know he's active, he's non-committal, he's romantic. We're not really friends, but I don't know about his career. What what do you really do, Dawn? Mm, somewhere over here is a, uh, something about his career. Well, it, it's gonna pop. The game is kind of lagging now. Just a little bit. Not too much. Let's just uh, ask about his career. There it was. Oh! Whacking! <laughs> Whacking wants to hang out with us also! Well... Uh, well, we already agreed to hang out with Dawn. But... Uh, I do want to go to Humor and Hijinks Festival. Hey, let's ask Dawn to come with us. I think we can. If not, then we're not going. Because we agreed to hang out with Dawn first. There he is. Let's go with Dawn. Let's go hang out at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. That's more fun than his house anyway. <laughs> this place is lit. Lit AF, I may say. Uh, I will be ending the stream soon. Like in a few minutes. But let's do this Humor and Hijinks Festival first. Really sad that this, this uh, room gets so bright. Otherwise, it's not a problem, but for streaming at this hour, it's it's kind of a bummer. I would stream later during the day when it's not so bright in here, or very early, but my timely, my daily schedule doesn't really allow that. Oh, and speaking of schedules, I might have time tomorrow for another stream. And, uh... But that would be quite some time earlier than today, but I won't, I won't announce anything now because it's kind of uncertain. But yeah, you'll get the notification <laughs> if you if you are followed my channel. <laughs> All right, well, she's having fun. Let's go to the festival. Okay, well, here comes the question. 
we need to join one of the two parties. There are jokesters and pranksters. I think uh, we could join the one of these parties. I think I'm gonna join the pranksters. Because we've been here before in another stream. I think we went for the jokers or then we chose neither. I don't remember. But now we're gonna pick pranksters. Oh, you chose jokers? Well, we can, of course, go to jokers. It's about uh, the party we choose. If we choose pranksters, we're gonna have to pull pranks on people. And if we choose jokers, we're gonna have to start joking around. So, uh, well, there's a vote on jokers, so let's go jokers. Next time we'll go back pranksters then. Oh, she came running. She really wanted to join the jokesters. She's gonna sit there and get fired in the face again. No, she sat, sat down and then she's like, oh, okay, never mind. I wanna disapprove of this bubble blower. <laughs> okay. Alright, Merida. Why are you disapproving? Huh? Are you a celebrity or just glowing because hey, of the jokester's the juice? Is that a voodoo doll you're playing with? That looked a little sinister. Murray Dill has joined the jokesters! Perform comedy interactions to gain points for your team. Okay, so let's start having fun. It's a uh, impossible sausage mime. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a funny introduction because we haven't met this person. Hey, new person. Let's uh, let's not teach dancing though. Let's uh, another funny introduction. <laughs> Let's have some lag apparently. Let's uh, poke fun at pranksters because we're in the opposing team. We can do a little bit of that. Hello, Boggy Bear! <laughs> Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> You're a new person? How does this really work? <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna tell you some jokes also. Uh, a knock knock joke. Those never get old. Oh, Minnie is walking in the background, but because of all the sunshine, you can't see her. <laughs> I'm not famous. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Mini? Congratulations, because when I look over there, I can hardly see anything. It's so bright. <laughs> She's so cute. And what are you doing? You went to play in the trash. That's not very ladylike. Well, who am I the judge? <laughs> With those shoes also. Oh boy. She needs to eat something, so let's uh, buy some food for her from one of these stalls. Which one shall we go for? I'm gonna roll for it. Yeah, she really needs to shower because she's playing in the trash. I rolled a... Uh, I could roll a die for one of these. She also needs to visit the bathroom. I think we're gonna have to visit the bathroom while we think about... Is that a public toilet? Yeah, let's go use that toilet. While we think about what are we gonna have her eat. 
There's two food stalls. And we can haggle at uh, either one and eat from either one. So I'm gonna roll for it. And I rolled this stall. Let's haggle. <laughs> Let's hope we get a nice discount. Is this like a mural? Oh, you can actually paint this. Well, that's nice. Let's first find some food for uh, for Merida. Pranksters and jokesters are both neck to neck. Keep performing interactions for your team to take lead. Well, I'm I'm performing a food fetching interaction. Oh, she didn't get the discount. Well, let's eat one of these. Uh, I rolled a die, and uh, we got three. We're gonna have some pop. Oh, she's so stinky! Look at that green cloud! Oh boy! Um, I think Merida just took somebody else's food. Oh! The jokester has won, so we got some yellow fireworks here. And I think I received a prize. We got some cha -ching! 500 simoleons. That's real nice. Oh, spring air. Yeah. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. I don't like fireworks in real life, but in games and on the TV, they're nice. They're actually very pretty. But I don't like uh, fireworks. They smell bad. They're pretty sure. But they are noisy and smell bad. I don't, I, I don't like them. <laughs> pad. I don't have a pad. I don't have any tablet computers. <laughs> nah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Azeric, this rack. Sturm, Tharg, Oh, she's Sturm freezing. <laughs> well, we should we should have her change into some Rumbea. winter outfits. I don't want her to be cold. Let's put on some coat. So are you again? Bjorn Bjergsen. <laughs> <laughs> All these items are just disappearing because it's the end of the day. I didn't light any fireworks! Can I still light any fireworks? Oh, too bad. I wasn't paying attention to the actual goal of event goal. Oh. Well, I might still have. Yeah! I do have a moment to actually. Sorry, I'm gonna interrupt your chat i do have a moment to like this yes i just had the time just in time i remember i've played this uh before so <laughs> i knew that there would be some fireworks in the in the inventory all right but now Merida needs to go home and get some rest and some much needed showering. And speed up her walk a little bit. She's so tired again. We're wearing her out. <laughs> Magnetic shield. <laughs> cool.
it's so bright. I keep saying saying stuff about it, but I think that um, I'm gonna put Merida to have some much needed rest. After that, I'm gonna have her mop some cat vomit from the bathroom floor. And then she's gonna take a lovely shower. Let's sing in the shower because that's a nice thing to do. Specifically if you live in a house so you don't really have to worry about bothering your neighbors if you don't think you're that good of a singer. <laughs> oh, feeling so bad! She's feeling so crunchy. So grungy. Filthy even. That was a special sound. <laughs> a scavenge for parts also. You just... Alright, I didn't cancel your shower. She seems a little distracted, doesn't seem to be able to focus on even taking a shower. Well, you scavenge for parts and throw away that and then go back to the shower, please. Go back to your song. Yeah, she can sleep a little bit longer. Speed her up just a bit. <laughs> or a lot. Yeah, let's have her go to work today. She also needs to pay her bills and she needs to publish her book. <laughs> her voice still cracks me up. Now she has paid her bills and published her book. Self-published. She won't make a lot of money out of it uh, compared to selling the rights to that book to a publisher. But she will receive a small amount of royalties daily and that's a very nice thing. Well, she didn't have the time to go to sleep, but she went to work. Let's speed it up. Merida is off to work. Well then, I think that we got <laughs> we got four simoleons, four whole simoleons out of that daily royalties for the children's book that we wrote. Okay, so hey, I heard you became friends with Don Lothario. He's pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> that's a strange response. <laughs> self self publishes a shower. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The cats are back. Let's speed up through her work day. Are you fighting squirrels in the bathroom again? That's not the thing. That's not the thing to do. It's my bathroom, you know. If I have squirrels in my bathroom, you shouldn't come over and just fight with them. That's rude. <laughs> Unless the squirrels are invading. <laughs> you might be hearing Mini, Mini my cat from, from my actual house. <laughs> she has this kibble ball that she's, she got food in it. Because she's, she's a little bit fat and she's not very interested in having exercise, so... She's playful, sure, but not enough to actually stay fit. And also she has another, another thing. I mean, I, I do encourage her to play with me a lot, but she just sometimes doesn't feel like it. She gets a little lazy. She rather sleeps on the couch. <laughs> she's so sweet but also uh, she does have some she does have some uh, issues that uh, when she eats food when mini mini the cat eats food she kind of gobbles it down too fast specifically kibble she loves kibble we buy her I buy her this uh, very high quality kibble the uh, best I can find at least and because uh, she, she really loves it. 
She does get other foods too, but she doesn't like like the raw diet. So we've tried that. I tried that with her a few times, but <laughs> she doesn't like it. Yes, she's a bit fat, not too much, but I worry. And we're we're actually going to go discuss that with an actual vet so that I'll get the proper professional opinion about it before I change her diet in any sort of way because that's very important to check with your vet uh, wait I had a thought in my head but now I'm gonna have Meridal eat something she made those pancakes but she didn't eat them I think the the fruit salad is the best choice for now. She's so tired. Well, don't worry, Merida. You're gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna have a nice nap, or then you're gonna go eat something. No, eat something. Ah, you're gonna go sleep early. Oh, I should go day. eat something. <laughs> oh. As soon as her gardening skill raises to four, that's very close actually. We're almost Ooh, at gardening skill you. level four. <laughs> Let's fertilize some trees. And no, not in the same way Mary Duff fertilizes the bathroom bush. <laughs> yeah, let's see. We have a lot of spinach. green peas and i think this is the last one let's put a carrot what are you doing cashew i'm trying to eat yeah boy, yeah, boy. <laughs> she clearly said yeah boy <laughs> yeah she could have had the pancakes but this uh fruit salad is going bad faster so are you begging for food, Ooh, Cashew? Or you. just attention? Definitely begging for food. You have food, or did you eat it already? You have food. Feel free to eat from the bowl. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's fertilize these and see if we can raise raise that garden skill to four so we get a promotion is that a glistening three three not three three yeah we can evolve it nice lemon tree has increased to nice quality that is nice that's very nice now let's go have a nice nap. Let's toss that. And turn that thing off. And I think that I'm going to end this episode of The Sims 4 here. And thank you so much for joining in on the stream. And I will be... I will be on maybe tomorrow for more Merida's adventures if you're interested. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're interested, then pop up in case I you see me online <laughs> for tomorrow's stream. I'm babbling with my words again. <laughs> I might stream tomorrow. It's a big maybe. Yeah, I paused it at the perfect moment. <laughs> cat in the litter box yeah thank you i'm glad you enjoyed the stream and uh i'm gonna try to solve this uh bright lights problem since summer is heading this way and springtime it's a lot of sunny weather so it's gonna be a lot of bright bright webcams and and uh yeah <laughs> with my schedule it, i don't think i'm going to be able to really stream during the darker times <laughs> darker times that sounds so grim i mean like uh evening and nighttime well nighttime i don't want to bother my neighbors 
also extremely early morning might bother them, but so far nobody's been complaining and I'm really happy about that. I'm not that loud. <laughs> I don't think so, at least. But um, yeah, I'll be on again at least Saturday, but I think I might be able to stream tomorrow also. So thank you so much for joining in on our stream on Sims 4 and Merida's Adventures and uh, I'll see you in the next stream. Was there something else I wanted to say? Well, <laughs> obviously thank you for joining in. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. So bye bye. <laughs>